Austin, if you could take us back to the scrimmage and how you did in that one and the, the start of this week. Yeah, I thought the scrimmage for us as an offense was uh, pretty good. We, we have some things we need to clean up, and that's what, kind of what we've done uh, the first two practices this week. But overall, I thought we played really hard and executed at a high level. So for, for myself, I thought did everything that was asked of me, got the ball out quick, uh, went through my reads, and uh, just trying to continue to get better. We didn't get to see any of it when you were there. Uh, did you do move the ball? What all did you get involved in? Uh, we did first down, play second down, third downs, red zone, and then a little bit of uh, move the ball. And it was uh, about 12 periods of work probably. And then um, got those other guys in. Awesome. Being a Fayetteville kid, uh, now you've got a day to, that, to digest it. What's the uh, lasting impact of Frank Royals for you? Yeah. You know, we co Coach Lenny talked to the whole team yesterday kind of about the history of Arkansas football and um, I mean for me just being around I kind of I mean I know all about it. I know how much Frank Rolls means to the state how much he means really to the world of college football and um, without him I, I mean Arkansas wouldn't be where it's at today and um, all these nice facilities for the whole you know athletic department is because of him so you know he, he means a lot to Arkansas football it means a lot to this whole state and, and really just a little so credit to him to where college football is today. Any special meaning to you since you've been around this program for as long as you've for me, I mean, just being from the state, just knowing how much he means to the state. I mean, he's a household name anywhere you go. And um, I mean, you know, my dad, he, when he was working here, he was the athletic director. So, um, you know, things like that. But, you know, just being from the state, I kind of just appreciate just how much he means to this to this football, I mean, to this team and, and to this whole state. You've got about two weeks left, roughly, until the, the first game. Where are you guys at? you feel like you're on track? Be where you want to be. Yeah, uh, we, we, we've got about 15 installs in so far, so we were about 95% of our offense in, and I think guys are really starting to compete. And, and um, you know, it's, it's practice 16 out there today, practice 17, so, you know, guys are tired, but still just the level of intensity we have out there. Is, it's really fun to be around, really fun to uh, practice with, and um, I think, I think. That's kind of the difference between years past where, where guys are, you know, going out there practice 16, 17, still with the same, you know, focus and mindset that, that we had practice one. So um, I thought, I think it was a really good day. What would you like to see the most improve uh, this Saturday? Um, this Saturday, I would just say just continue with toughness and, and competitiveness where, you know, some guys kind of need to pick it up a little bit, just a few guys, but... Um, is if they can, you know, get that competitive, you know, th juice out of them, where, where every play that they're not going to lose, they're not going to, you know, um, give give up any plays or anything like that. I think that's just kind of what I want to see. I just want to see a bunch of guys competing and playing till the whistle. Where would you say in one year you improved the most? Where, where do you feel like from last year at this point till now you're you're a better player? I would just say just more vocal leadership, where I'm I'm able to know what I want out of the guys where um, you know I've seen a lot last year been through it all and, and now I know, I know what it takes to win in this league I know you know I've been around a long time so you know I feel like I have the, the right to say some things that you know before um, I really wouldn't have said and, um, and no, guys know where, I, where I'm coming from I love them all where it, it's, it's all out of love but I, I expect a lot out of everyone and, and they understand that and that's just kind of you know the type of you know, leader I'm trying to become. What did you think of the strategy? Last week they gave Ty all the two, Tuesday yeah. reps with the twos and then Cole on Wednesday. What do you think of that method, I guess? Yeah, I thought it was good. I thought uh, both those guys practiced really well last week, I thought. And then, um, you know, even in the scrimmage, they both played well. Where, you know, it's, it's kind of tough as a quarterback. You get in two plays, you get taken out another two plays where you kind of get out of a groove. And, you know, giving those guys the whole day, you know, they, they showed some things where they might not have shown if they're just splitting reps. So I thought they both practiced their tails off. And, you know, just how prepared they've been this whole fall camp and how, how competitive they've been is it's really fun to be around. And it's, they're, they're playing at a high level. Dan Eno suggested that you, he might do the same thing this week. You, is that on the schedule? Is it yeah, I, I have no idea. They, they kind of just told him before we went out to practice last week that, hey, Ty, you got all the twos today. Cole, you got all the twos tomorrow. So I don't know when they're going to do it or what the plan is. Well, Michael said you guys did a lot of up tempo type stuff today. What else did you, what else did you focus on? And, and yeah, that yesterday was a big uh, third down day, red zone day, high low red zone stuff like that. And two minute we installed two minutes, so 
We, we've been really working critical areas the past few days, and then today we did a little bit of Sonic where it's our up-tempo type, type offense, and then uh, we did first down, first down, third downs, um, and then, then kind of a move the ball thing where, um, you know, get, if you go three and out, you go three and out. If you get a touchdown, you get a touchdown. So um, we we're, we're kind of working everything right now. Well, Michael said you had uh, Nance on a post today. Any other, any other hits? I can barely remember the last period. So, um, I, I think we've had yesterday. We had a really good day of big plays and things like that. And um, today, um, you know, the defense didn't give us too much. But I thought, um, you know, we got the ball out, hit the, hit our right reads, and I thought it was a really competitive practice between defense and offense. Overall, the wide receiver group with Jared not being in there. How have you seen him grow? And, and if he's not able, to, you know, yeah. what his, whatever his situation will be throughout the season, how comfortable do you feel with, with the growth that those guys have? I feel real comfortable with those guys. Just having having guys like Michael step up, Dion, Jonathan Nance, just guys where, you know, they, they kind of been not Nance, but those guys have been around. You know, they've flashed talent, but just how how they've able to you know continue to get better through through 16 practices and how they continue to get better where. Um, you know, if Jared was out there right now, they might not have had those chances. And I mean, everyone knows what Jared can do. We all have, the, you know, trust in him. But just seeing those guys get out there and do what they can do, it's, it's really been fun. And you know, I've, I've gained a lot of trust in those guys. I know where they're going to be. I know how they run their routes. So um, it's it's been a really good fall camp for for the quarterbacks and the wideouts. When you look at the defense and the competition you guys have had, how, how much have you seen them really progress to the point where you think that they're going to? Be a really good defense. Yeah, I would say just the communication they have. Uh, they understand now where when we motion a guy, you know, three by one to two by two, people are talking. They're they're communicating. They're getting the right um, defensive call that they got, and um, just just how good the D line's playing. Where you know they're filling gaps. Linebackers are coming downhill, making plays, and um, you know guys outside. Poli, Andre, Cam, Cam. Uh, Cam's playing well, and then Shevin's also playing well. We're both two true, true freshmen. Where they're going to help us out, and you know, guys like Santos and Dre and, and Josh Liddell is really playing well. So we got we got a bunch of guys that you know know what to do now, playing hard, you know, playing with playing with passion, and I think that's it's really good to see. I would say he's just a good football player where he's he, he understands coverages he understands leverages and, and that's kind of kind of like a Drew Morgan type deal where you know he understands the guys heavy inside I'm going to you know jab this way go out he he can get open against any type of coverage and you know he when he gets the ball in the sands he's pretty special and he, he's got a, he's got burst to him where you know one on one I'm kind of looking towards his, towards his way so uh, he's gained my trust um, I thought I think he's had a really great camp and looking forward to what he what he does this this season. You mentioned wide 